is the hype coming true? An Apple AR VR mixed reality headset, for some time the scene has speculated about that. Now new reports feed the buzz. Apple has reportedly secured trademark rights for headset names and is officially hiring a noticeably high number of AR and VR developers. Apple's headset is in its final stage, some experts think. And the tech scene is eagerly awaiting an announcement. How realistic are these expectations? What will those mixed reality goggles offer? And will the company finally make VR AR mainstream? Apple has posted numerous job listings in recent months looking for AR and VR developers. That means the hardware must be nearly ready. One job listing is especially interesting. It mentions the development of a 3D mixed reality world, combining the best of AR and VR. This suggests Apple is working on a virtual environment similar to Meta's Metaverse. As Zuckerberg's version of a virtual world doesn't seem to take off, Apple could bring us one step closer to a life in a Metaverse with digital concerts and NFT shops. Apple's mixed reality headset will enrich real-life environments with augmented reality and will also let you explore entirely virtual worlds. While VR is a fully immersive experience, AR allows the user to experience their surroundings while adding a digital layer over it to create a new reality, like in the popular game Pokemon Go. Mixed reality worlds are more interactive. Since they allow visible contact to the surroundings, they are easier to integrate in everyday life. Experts believe mixed reality will be more easily adapted by society. Apple's goggles won't be cheap. Estimates are 1,900 to 2,900 euros. For reference, competitor Microsoft's HoloLens 2 costs slightly more, 3,850 euros. So what will those roughly 3,000 bucks get you? Combined insider information points to more than 10 cameras placed outside and inside the device for tracking hand movements and showing users video of the real world. And 8K, the highest resolution displays ever featured in a mass market headset. Users will most probably be able to use mixed reality versions of Apple's standard apps like Messages, Maps and FaceTime. The headset is set to include 16 GB of RAM, meaning it will probably be way more powerful than Zuckerberg's Meta Quest 2. However, that only costs around 400 euros in comparison. Apple has a history of making very popular versions of already existing products. Just think of the iPod, the iPhone and the iPad. A user-friendly mixed reality gadget could finally help VR, AR world take off. What do you think? Will mixed reality be the next big thing? Let us know and see you next time.